present to you the credentials of His Majesty the King of the Netherlands, in Monaco. He asked me to convey to you the best wishes to your country and your people. happened that your arrival to Azerbaijan almost coincided with the war. Therefore, our meeting uh, was postponed due to the objective circumstances. I was informed that you arrived uh, almost two months ago, so I'm sure you understand why our meeting didn't take place earlier. Uh, but unfortunately, when our meeting was appointed, I got information that uh, Parliament of your country uh, adopted a motion, uh, anti-Azerbaijani motion, also anti-Turkish motion, providing the sanctions against Azerbaijan. I was informed by my assistant that uh, during the discussions, uh, the Foreign Minister of uh, Netherlands advocated for a more balanced approach, so we appreciate that, but of course, the fact that uh, the Parliament adopts such an uh, unbalanced and I think uh, unjust decision uh, will not, of course, uh, help us to establish closer ties. First of all, I'd like to say, taking into account the fact that yesterday this uh, decision was adopted, that it was Armenia who attacked us. We were defending ourselves and uh, as a result of that, we managed to liberate territories which belong to us uh, due to the norms and principles of international law and belong to us historically. Our fight was a fight for freedom, for liberation, and it ended with a great military success and also political success. And on November 10th, as you know, the trilateral uh, statement was signed, which puts an end to war. Therefore, for me, it was very strange that uh, after that, after Armenia itself signed this declaration, which basically is a capitulation, uh, such a decision was adopted in a country which is situated far away from our region. As you probably know, the regional countries supported this declaration. All our neighbors expressed support to this uh, declaration. Two of our neighbors, uh, Russia and Turkey, will be part of the operations which will uh, provide security and uh, safety for Azerbaijanis and Armenians. So I think that uh, it is more uh, just to be uh, on our side rather than on some other side. And also probably you are informed about the comments of U.S. State Department which supports uh, the ceasefire European Union. Therefore, uh, I understand that uh, parliamentarians, they have their own agenda. Sometimes they have their own preferences. Uh, it's uh, understandable. And I understand that the government of your country has its own position, which uh, uh, may be different from what was adopted by the parliament, but uh, it will be difficult to explain to our people why it happened. Therefore, I think that you will have to uh, face this uh, situation when people will ask you why the Netherlands was the first country whose parliament adopts such a decision. Uh, from a practical point of view, it's definitely that it will not have any impact on the situation on the ground. The situation now is stabilizing. Uh, our refugees and IDPs uh, who waited for this day for almost 30 years are celebrating this uh, great military and political victory. And uh, they are looking forward to see uh, the timetable for their return. But uh, it will take time because uh, aggressor destroyed almost everything. And these videos are shown on our TV. Uh, this devastation probably uh, is a unique 
form of brutality, vandalism, barbarism against uh, our people, against our cultural, religious heritage, uh, against humanity. And the way how Armenia behaved during the war also shows the uh, unhuman uh, attitudes of their leadership. Because attacking peaceful cities situated far away from the uh, conflict zone by ballistic missiles from the territory of Armenia is a war crime. Using cluster bombs and phosphor bombs is a war crime. Uh, so all the international media testified that, and also international NGOs. So I regret that I have to start our conversation with that, but that was uh, only due to the fact that our meeting was uh, appointed two days ago, and uh, the decision of your parliament was made <laughs> later than that. Uh, apart from that, what can I say? Uh, once again, it will be not easy to explain it. Uh, it will also depend on the position of your government, of your foreign minister. We are expecting their comments on that, because uh, my assistant told me that there have been comments during the discussion, but we expect comments now, after this decision was made. Of course, we will be expecting the comments from European Commission. As you know, uh, European Commission and Azerbaijan have a very broad agenda of uh, cooperation and uh, two years ago we initialed the partnership priorities document in Brussels which fully supports sovereignty, territorial integrity and inviolability of uh, international borders of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan was fighting on its own territory, was restoring its own territorial integrity and it is in uh, line with uh, UN Security Council uh, resolutions with a uh, document which was initialed by EU and Azerbaijan. I wish you a pleasant time. I hope that this uh, not very pleasant page in our history uh, will not uh, seriously damage our relations, but of course it will depend on the further steps of uh, your government and our government, which will uh, act, uh, you know, in a, a corresponding way. So welcome once again. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, as you mentioned, I arrived here on the 20th of September, one week before the conflict started uh, again. So this was a very hectic uh, period, but also a time that allowed me to understand very well what the sources of the conflicts were. And that's something that I have liaised very closely with my capital as well. And as you mentioned, the position of my government is very balanced. And that's something that I, I value greatly. And that has also been the result of analysis, discussions, and, and good uh, dialogue. So I'd like to stress that again, that the, the, the position of my government is very much in line with that of the EU and it's very balanced. So we have followed the, the, the conflict, we've seen what happened, and we are always very concerned with what the conflict uh, caused, but on both sides. So in our system, there's a difference. Uh, the government has a position, the parliament has a position, and that requires dialogue. That dialogue took place on several occasions, uh, in which we also noted uh, that the balanced position of the government was not always the same position as the parliament. Um, in the recent discussion last week uh, with the minister, between parliament and minister, these questions were also raised. Uh, and the minister, both in writing and orally, has consistently said that these things that are raised uh, are not according to the position of my government. So sanctions and all that are absolutely not uh, on the cards right now. It's irrelevant. There's, there can't be any question of a discussion about that. So that's something that my minister has said very clearly in Parliament, but also in writing. So I'm happy I can uh, repeat that again uh, here.
Prezident İlham Əliyev Nidirland kralı William Aleksandrın salamlarına görə minnətdarlığını bildirdi. Onun da salamlarını Nidirlandın kralına çatdırmağı xayiş etdi.